years and I don't even have a Tesla! Where's my infinite supply of pussy? Hey, my name is Jobby and the Devil Savior Split is a third party version of the character Mixmaster from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. I am directly below. The enemy screwed him. Now that's what the kids call Kino. This guy's part of a group called the Constructicons, and they're gonna combine into a bigger robot called Devastator, I mean Troublemaker. Why do I do this to myself? Now if y'all think I like the movie just because I got the figure, get your head out your mom's pussy, that's where I belong. <laughs> Revenge of the Fallen? More like Fallen. Asleep in the theater, but over the years I've come to accept that those designs separated from the source material ain't that bad. This guy looks real good. The weathering here is super impressive. The dry brushing is just immaculate. It doesn't even look factory produced. It looks like a custom paint job by fucking Jin Sao Tome. If you get that, congratulations. You're old. <laughs> And sad enough to be here. Dick and balls on his back. Back, 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 back. You know, it just seems right that this huge hunk of kibble has a dog on it. Now that's a separate piece, but you might as well remove that because it's gonna leave you anyway like any other bitch. The back sucks! At least something like Masterpiece Bumblebee attempted to segment the kibble into a cleaner back. They made the attempt, but they didn't succeed, I'll tell you that. But this guy's like, nah. Straight up truck. All right, maybe I could give this thing a pass for being ugly and stupid, but it doesn't even hold together. Quasimodo looking motherfucker. And out there, living in the sun. The upside to that untabbing feature, you get a waist swivel. Little bit of side to side there. <laughs> But that articulation doesn't even matter when you plug that back back in. No way, Swivel. Did you hear that? Swivel Man. Did you hear that? Swivel Man. Swivel Man! Swivel Man! Get over here! Swivel Man, get over here and do the funny! Come on, Swivel Man! No way, Swivel! No way, Swivel! Swivel Man! No way, Swivel! No one cares about your dumbass song. Most of the joints here are surprisingly tight, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's fun to handle. That back kibble that doesn't like stay fuck plugged in, it does a lot for the feel of the figure and not in a good way. This guy technically is highly articulated, but it's all rendered moot by the <laughs> and the wonky proportions inherent to the design makes sure that you can't get anything more dynamic than that. That's an official promo. Pick too. I didn't make that shit up. I gotta give a shout out to these little hip wheels. They're stupid as fuck. No matter how hard I try, you keep pushing me aside. You can screw them in all you want, but they're eventually just gonna get fucked floppy and shit. They don't stay tight. Looking at the movie concept art here, you can see that we have a cleaner design that Devil Savior should have followed. Integrate those wheels into the taint. This shit is just unforgivable. Fix the hip wheels, fix the back kibble, and literally 20% of all of my complaints would be gone. But then, that leaves us with 80% of complaints. Oh boy, I know how to do math. You hear that shit? Yeah? That's the sound of the end of my life. You might notice that I'm using old footage. I filmed the transformation on camera about two months ago, and I ain't gonna refilm that shit in 60 FPS. No way, no how, sir. The transformation here ain't fun. But out of the four transformations, you heard that shit, right? This one isn't the worst, but you do get hints of the bullshit that's to come later, especially on these fucking legs. You gotta position the feet super specifically to get them to where you wanna be. I 
can't even say all this shit was worth it because the canon mode ain't really a mode. It is movie accurate, yes, but we've already established that I don't give a shit about Revenge of the Fallen. It also shows up for like 0 0.0000005 seconds in the film, so why do you fucking care? This thing looks and feels like a complete afterthought. This mode is the embodiment of the phrase red-headed stepchild. Did I just make a ginger joke in 2020? Now before we move on to the good son, I gotta thank all of my Patreon supporters. I could have never afforded this guy without the help of our president. Thanks for nothing. I never got my Trump bucks! I wanna suck on the government's titties too! Where's my pussy? Now this is where we really get into it. The deep. Endless bog of bullshit. I hope you brought some pasta sauce, cause we got some spaghetti on our hands. <laughs> emphasize enough how not fun this is to do. This shit is scary. It's nasty feeling. But there is a hint of satisfaction once you reach the final stages. The results of all that fuck is this very nice looking truck. This thing is so clean that it doesn't even look like a transformer. Just don't look at the bottom there. I've already gone off about the excellent painting, but man, it really shines in this mode. It's like God himself blessed this paint job. And if you don't know about our Lord and Savior Otaku Builder, I recommend you go check out his channel, Beautiful Talented Piece of Shit. The dirt effects on here are especially well done. Those mud flaps look extra dirty, and these rubber tiles look really worn out. Just kidding, they're not actually rubber, but that's just how good the painting is on here. Oh, it's so frustrating that I don't really want to play with it, because it looks so good. I also recommend plugging back the dot for that touch of style there, and that logo on the front. Oh, that's looking stylish as well. But I don't think I ever heard of a mask brand truck. I've heard of Mac brand trucks. It's like the existence of third party figures breaks international law or something. Just like my heart trying. Time for some head. Three transformations in and I think I could safely say that I want to commit genocide. I went through all of these processes about 10 times in the span of two months and the whole shit show just won't stick in my head. This is one of the very few transforming figures where I have to constantly go back to the instruction book and I've got a pretty good memory when it comes to complex transformations. You saw my dedication when I transformed transform MP Megatron in your ass. So not only is this process super demanding, it's super unmemorable. Just like my ex. <laughs> That's not true, fuck. plug in this faceplate into those previously mentioned fuckby wheels, how the fuck dare you? That goes beyond questionable engineering and goes directly into ret stupid. <laughs> And if you couldn't tell by now, this is also why the truck cab and robot mode couldn't segment further into a cleaner back. It was containing the combined head the whole time. So yeah, understandable engineering compromise, but it doesn't make it 
not shit. And this fucking thing is actually really cool. You can tell that when all these guys are combined up, this thing is gonna be big, big, big. <laughs> if the transformations weren't complete ass cancer, I would even say I was excited. You know what? I'm still cautiously excited for Troublemaker. It's clear that the designers at Devil Savior put a lot of passion into this project, and there is some serious craftsmanship going on with that paint job. But it seems like there just wasn't enough thought put into the transformations. Now, I'm not one to complain about complexity in transformations. I'm a slut when it comes to complexity. But complex doesn't have to mean not Fun. And I think to achieve a complex yet fun transformation, you would need sturdier materials and a ridiculous amount of playtesting. If you think I'm being too harsh and sound like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, you're completely right. As a consumer, all I know is... Unique toys exist! Catch these hands, Nick. Baby, I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't, uh, I didn't mean to hurt you. To be clear, this guy is by no means Bold Forms Gladius 2.0, but it's close. If the next guy's transformation makes me want to delete my channel forever, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I'm not gonna buy the rest of them. All right, all right, one last transformation. I'm gonna try my best not to lose it. I think I'm gonna fucking lose it. You know, I never really went out much anyway. Once a week at least. But those little times of physical contact with real human beings really did wonders for my already thin sanity. I was already hanging by a thread, man, but now... I'm hanging by a fucking pube. Look, fat, I know I'm gonna die alone, but let me suck my homie's dick just one last time. <laughs> Here we have what the instructions call the destruction mode. Or as I like to call it, that bitch from robots. I'm gonna leave this guy in head mode forever. It looks really good as is, and I don't have to touch it ever again. This thing fucking... It doesn't. You can say that I'm feeling very... Split? Bastard in a basket. Bastard in a basket. I drink your milkshake, Eli. I drink it up! I will make you hurt.